I started with an A minor, which you might have recognized. Uh, the A minor chord, just to remember um, a, a moment together, uh, is um, built on, um, on the first two frets of the guitar fretboard. Okay, so you put your forefinger on the um, first fret, second string, and then going on the second fret, uh, you place your middle finger on fourth string and your ring finger right below it on the third string. And that's A minor. Wait a moment, we already studied A minor, you might say. Yes, it's true, we studied A minor. But there is a reason why I began today in this way. I want you to try to uh, change fingers. So instead of the fourth finger, you will put middle finger. And and so on. So you will put ring finger on the fourth string and pinky on third string. We play it's still an A minor, same chord. All right. Now, move one fret, everything. So from A minor, you move one fret and then one more fret. Okay? You will have this position. If you want to go back to um, to the beginning of the of the of the video you will find out that in the beginning i played exactly these two chords all right you see there is a logic in what i do uh, so we moved two frets um, up the up the neck and we reached this position which is two frets away from a minor of course you already understand what I'm doing here. I am building the chord of B minor. The chord of B minor also needs one more note, which is the F sharp that you find on, uh, on the first string, okay? Right? So this is the chord of B minor. Okay, so the chord of B minor can be played with four fingers, one, two, three, four. Also playing the first four strings of, um, of the guitar. All right, we don't play the fifth and the sixth string because these two chords don't belong to, to the chord of, of B minor. So you have to be careful. Later on, when uh, we will progress in, uh, in our studies and uh, we'll reach the, how can I say, the, the, the facility of playing bars, uh, uh, so like in this position, we will be able to do uh, to, to use all six strings. But for now, just for the beginning of the practice, you know, in order not to get tired and so on, uh, we will use only the first four strings using four fingers. All right? So this takes care of the chord of B minor. There is one more chord that you, that you can um, uh, simply uh, add to your repertory uh, by moving one more fret. The whole thing, the whole uh, shape of this chord. We move it one more fret. After a B, of course, comes a C. And in this way, you will have the C minor. It's really easy. Uh, guitar um, uh, studies, no, basically, um, can be easier if you think of um, logical steps that can be followed. Uh, sometimes with one chord shape, we, we already spoke about chord shapes, with one chord shapes, a shape, you can, uh, you can build different chords. So this is a kind, kind of, um, uh, in, in a way, reassuring, because if you had to learn uh, for each chord uh, a new position, it might become um, a bit um, uh, confusing or at least, you know, uh, worrying <laughs> in a way. So uh, we, we saw these two chords, B minor and C minor. Uh, when you practice, you can do, for instance, four times the, the chord of B minor and then move to the chord of C minor. What I'm doing is just sliding back and forth. I release a bit the pressure of my fingers on the strings and can uh, reach this kind of uh, continuous flow of the chords all right we got it no problem okay so starting from the chord of a minor we built two more chords fine all right so uh, let's do some kind of practice on uh, on on these two chords uh, utilizing um, a form of arpeggio uh, we studied arpeggio uh, if I remember there was an arpeggio uh, down only 
and then either in the previous lesson or the one before we we did the uh, uh, down and up arpeggio which was using okay using each string once basically uh, also remember some of you actually wrote me and uh, asked me uh, questions about the usage of the fingers of your right hand fine of course you can use also uh, your right um, uh, your right hand fingers so it will be something like this but today today i want you to um, concentrate on the up only arpeggio the up only arpeggio of course it's really easy uh, but it, it, it acquires um, an interesting atmosphere if you do for instance uh, start from the c minor chord okay and do uh, first string second string third string fourth string then start again from first string second fr strings uh, third string and fourth string i will do it okay this one uh, let's try to do twice this uh, up only arpeggio in C minor and then slide back, release the pressure and uh, slide back the chord uh, to reach the position of B minor. Let's see what happens. Three, four. Slide back. kind of a disquieting, creeping sound in a way, if you put it together. Uh, let's do, for instance, um, twice in a row. Let's see what happens. I'm using my fingers now. Eh? Okay, here we go. Change. Change back to C minor. Yeah. almost like a ghost story in a way. Mm. All right, so uh, you can practice this uh, up only arpeggio. One more thing that I want you to try is the so-called double down strumming. Um, there are several other names, of course. I'm using this double down strumming, I mean twice strumming from, uh, from up to down. So... doing is I do a uh, strumming all the strings once then I hit the uppermost string not this one this one <laughs> okay so it's the uppermost string and slide back okay this is a double down strumming. So uh, there are hundreds of ways that you can strum a guitar. Uh, this one will serve you because uh, in the finale, in the final part of, uh, of this lesson, uh, we will play a song all together based on uh, these two or three things that I just told you. And that's it. So wait a moment, don't go away because we're going into playtime. Playtime! Time to close up! Oh yes, let's do it with a song. <laughs> As usual, something unusual. Right, here's our original song which we call... Seeing is Believing. Seeing is Believing. But before we play it... Please remember to subscribe and to follow us on Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram. Yes, follow us always. And now Seeing is Believing. Okay, here's how we play it. Uh, in the beginning I will just do a little um, up only arpeggio. And then I will change chord. Then I will sing something and then... And we do the strumming that we learned during the lesson. And this is the whole song. And then I will sing something. Okay? This is the tempo, so I think you got it. Um, let's do it. <laughs> And what will we see? Ah, we will see things that waver between oh. two equally melancholy oh. reels. See? 
It's a C minor chord with its B minor mate. A disquieting combination of sounds balancing on a quivering threshold resolution fancy. We hope you like what you saw and uh, heard, and <laughs> if you did, come back to visit us. <laughs> yes, come back to visit us. Uh, come to find your inner guitarist. Only here on Joint, Joint Adventure. Adventure. Ciao. Ciao.